Hello everybody, Padrujo here. Today, yo, we got the PlayStation 5 showcase. We're about three minutes away from from it happening. Uh and oh yeah, I should totally close out the chat because no. <laughs> no chat. Uh yeah, so of course they're gonna show off, you know, what games are gonna be coming on to the PlayStation 5. Hopefully. Hopefully we can get that release date and price point. Uh, depending on what games they're showing, really depends on me deciding on getting the PS5 at launch or not. Cause I, me personally, I don't like getting consoles at launch or near launches. The only exception to that is the Switch. <laughs> Because Nintendo's just crazy with what they do. Uh, so, like, with, I got PS4 Pro and then got the <laughs> PS4. Uh, got my PS3 literally, what, two or three months before the PS4 came out. So, that, that, that kind of tells you how, how I do with my <laughs> games. So, depending on what games they are planning to announce... Or, you know, show off. Really depends on, you know, that the helps me decide, you know, what, if I'll get it. If it's like, oh, hey, th this is going to be on PS4 and PS5, I'm probably going to get the PS4 version. You know, saves me some money and, you know, uh, and, uh, I, I can just get the PS5 later on. So, we're just about less than a minute out, so let's just this up <clears throat> all right all right so here we go okay PlayStation what will you show us what, what what games do you have what is the price point of the PS5 when will you release? Will you release on the 10th as well as, you know, the Xbox Series X and S? Seriously, the, those were dumb names and so confusing. But anyways, let's see what they got for us. What do they have? Show us the games. Show what's the console. Show what's the price. Now, like, with the PS, with, I mean, the... Series X being about five hundred and the Series S being three hundred, they, they 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 gotta you know have, have the price you know somewhere below that or just about the same price, cause they they literally been like waiting on holding out the price for one they'll say it, Xbox's price got leaked, so they had to come out and say yep this is the price this is when we're releasing it, so PlayStation kind of has the chance to hey. This is the price. We're utter cutting. We're, we're, we're cutting, uh, low balling Xbox price. And oh wow, that is a bit loud. Oh, hey, let's go. All right. Are they just gonna start right here? <laughs> You know, the, those who were shown off at the PS4 show, the PS5 showcase, the when they first revealed the PS5. Yeah, some of these have been delayed, so just kind of, uh, it's a good time to show these right now. <laughs> PC and Marine PS5 experience. You 
all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. How do we even know the girl will be among us? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Oh, this is Bombassy! I just saw the Chocobo! Like, I was like, wait, this is, this is Bomb Basic like 14? Are they announcing Final Fantasy 14 for PS5 or something? Or is this actually Final Fantasy 16? This will be a bitter fight. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. This is 16, isn't it? Your father will be expecting us. I am Whoa. They, they, they're really going back to the fantasy. This is the, this is real fantasy. <laughs> this is like futuristic fantasy. This isn't, you know, modern fantasy. This is past fantasy. Medieval fantasy. Without the blessing of the mother crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the blight. Or is this a remake of, of another game? Vomit. The legacy of the crystals. Is this Crystal Chronicles? Has shaped our history. This is another Crystal Crystal Chronicles game. Oh no! <laughs> but yo, it looks good. It looks good. Final Fantasy 16, wow. Huh. PlayStation console exclusive. Also available on PC. <laughs> but wow. <laughs> Show me that off first. Wow. Are they doing the same thing uh, with the console reveal to show X, circle, triangle, square? <laughs> Make sure I'm not looking at my phone like a zombie. <laughs> but, but what other people say and stuff. Spider Man, I heard that. <laughs> Cousin Miles. Subway card. Check. You got the house key? Yeah, I got it. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Dude, I am so filling your suit with snow. 
Are you still wearing your suit? Yeah, you know, just in case. It's gonna be fine. Sure. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, well, what? <laughs> What, what were they building up to? Was with that air? <laughs> we're excited to show you this first look at gameplay from Marvel Spider Man Miles Morales. Our story picks up one year after the events of the first game. A year? Miles' new home, Harlem, is in danger. Trouble brews while Miles' mom, Rio Morales, leads an election rally. A war between the devious energy corporation, Roxxon, and the underground. A high tech criminal army led by the Tinkerer. Oh god, the Tinkerer. Gameplay sequence captured on PlayStation 5 hardware. The underground attacks Roxxon, sending the rally into chaos in a fight that spills onto the Braithwaite Bridge, where the underground tries to steal Roxxon's experimental energy source, New Form. Let's take a look. Let's not shoot each other, all right? What well, the Tinker is someone we already know? We're after the new form. Ignore everything else. Okay, so Tinker is a girl. Now we just gotta know who. Is this someone we know? <laughs> Oh, well, oh, all's oh, gonna explode. Oh no. It, it's gonna explode. Okay. I have to stop this. Hmm. Well, really liking the music. So, so they can just just materialize weapons out of nowhere. Sounds familiar. Oh, <laughs> seeing a bridge just like move like that that is just a scary looking thing. <laughs> Something that's supposed to be like really solid, <laughs> just moving like that. Save the driver! <laughs> Bro, you're lucky that boat was there. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, this is why I made two moment. That was definitely a little, like, kind of a Spy Man 2 reference moment. They turn 20, we mean whenever the PS5 comes out. This is the Harry Potter game that's been freaking leaked for years. Magic, most beautiful and so this is a PS5 game. It's finally being officially revealed. Yeah, they, they, they're, they're using characters. <laughs> every corridor, every portrait, every stone in this castle tells the story of the witches and wizards who came before. Now, you, will, will you be like an actual person like living in the school and, and choose like, like uh, well. <laughs> Which part you're you're in? Which house you're in? And while your journey begins at Hogwarts, brewing potions, taming fantastic beasts, and mastering spells, there is a larger world beyond these walls. A world filled with dangers you can't yet imagine. An ancient knowledge Ooh. long gone from this world. Yeah, that's really impressive. But I just got no. Did they say like, oh, this is still work in progress? That 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 looks like kind of choppy frame rate. They were just gonna call it Harry Potter and something because Harry Potter's got involved with it, right? Ah, uh, okay. The Porky Games Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I like the movies. Uh, the, the Fantastic, Fantastic Beasts, I only seen the first one, didn't see the second one. Hi everyone, I'm Dan Vondrak, Creative Director at Raven. One of our goals as developers is to bring the game world to life unlike anything you've ever experienced, and the PlayStation 5 is making that happen. With the power of the new console, we've been able to significantly enhance the overall experience. From what you see in the world, how it feels in your hands, to what you hear around you. In Black Ops Cold War, you will be transported to uh, 1981. In the middle of one of the most dangerous times the world has ever known. The height of the Cold War. The following is a portion of the first campaign mission, where you've been given the name of a high-value target linked to the Iran hostage crisis. But in true Black Ops style, nothing is as it seems. Take a look. 
Yeah, yeah Call of Duty, not, not my, my thing. thing. Did they have a Easter in back then? Uh, I, I have no idea. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, really? You missed the shot? You missed the shot? How? But uh, I guess you can't continue on without, you know, the story being a thing. Ooh. Now, um, I, 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 I really hope that, you know, uh, some of these games will be like a uh, after the course of the event they'll say oh yeah these games some of these games are also available on ps4s xbox one stuff like that because that's what, what they usually do when they have you know like oh hey there's a ps5 event after the fact yeah this is also available on ps4 and, and stuff like that like this game yeah it's on ps4 How's that little toy car faster than actual cars? Okay. Hope you enjoyed that sneak peek at the campaign for Black Ops Cold War. There are many more twists and turns along the way as you begin to unravel the truth and we can't wait for you to play it soon. In addition to the story campaign, Cold War features the next generation of multiplayer online combat and an all new awesome zombies experience. Today I have the special honor to announce on behalf of my friends at Treyarch that the PlayStation community doesn't have to wait to play multiplayer. Starting this Friday, PlayStation players will be able to play the multiplayer alpha exclusively on PlayStation 4. And for those of you that are and watching the, on PS4, you can preload the experience starting tomorrow. There's going to be people complaining, complaining now. Weekend. Enjoy the rest of the show. Mm. What can you do? Circle before triangle. <laughs> 
x square <laughs> Resident Evil 8. All clear. Well, move. You got yeah, Resi 8. Chris? What the hell? Take him away. But why? <laughs> And in death, we give glory. At least the frame of rate looks better than the way it first was revealed. They're coming again. <laughs> Ooga booga. <laughs> oh, werewolves. Oh, yeah. oh, wait. Oh, that, that frame rate right there. Quit being so paranoid. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Is the father the werewolf? Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of mother's grasp. Now this kind of looks like little, little nightmares, a little bit. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch and into the forest deep. God, cults. Cults are horrible. <laughs> it's just a local tale. Sure. Thank you. Just got this giant castle, which we're probably gonna explore in that game. If it's just Loki, window shop away. Wait, is that the is that the the shopkeeper from four? We just got batter? <laughs> Maybe? Oh yeah. That got delayed into what next year? Like yeah, it's like an interesting game. You want out of a time loop? You gotta learn how it works. Black Reef is a puzzle. And each visionary is a different piece. Here's Igor. I am a respected scientist. I've done so many loops, I've learned to run circles around him. Hey, over here! I'm Ooh. Ugh. The breaking next is just like it. Dead. <laughs> I've tried taking my targets out one by one more than I can remember, but there is never enough time. I go after one, another lives. Because right now, half an island away, a different visionary is throwing his nightly cannibal masquerade. Alexis Dorsey. Everybody shut up! It's my jam. Igor's a big fan, yet somehow he never makes it to the party. Something keeps him home. Cold? You there, buddy? He is the end Is that your local? And here's why Igor blew it off. He made some kind of scientific breakthrough that morning. I did it! I did it in words! That no, not not Yuri. Breakthrough. No reason for Igor 
not to drink his disappointment with Alexis. Now I got a shot at killing them both at the same time. In the same loop. Hmm. Hey, Wolf! It's time to hunt pig! Oh, I'm talking about you, baby! Come out and play! <laughs> Now I'm kind of like, oh hey, like you, you kill him, you kill him in one mission, but real life guy you kill him another. Can you just like, oh just go to like the one point, then just skip to like the next after you stop what you had to do in the beginning? Just ran out of time. You keep forgetting, Colt. I'm not like those other idiots. Only got one name on my list. Yours. Yeah, yeah, it was delayed. Hmm. Doing a lot of oh hey, PS4. Console exclusive, also on PC. <laughs> I'm kind of we're getting any other JRPGs besides, you know, Final Fantasy. And then, yeah, there's this Capcom game about the moon and this girl. Oh, Devil May Cry! Devil May Cry! There's the Virgil DLC! A Special Edition! But will the PS4 version get this? <laughs> Virgil, baby! Dan Southernworth. <laughs> oh, wow. The music for DMC5 is so good. Playing as V, eh, but it's still an overall good game. And also, Lady and Trish needs. They definitely. Wait, are they getting more things to do? Please, because, like. Lady and Trish. I think that they should have had something. <laughs> Devil May Cry. Available digitally at launch. So how about the people who have the PS4 version? Please, Capcom, have have that available for the PS4 version. Come on. Oh, Odd World. What are they doing? Did those fugitive morons burn down their own hideout? It sounds idiotic, but that's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> Bad Guama for burning down my farm. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, creative director of Oddworld Soulstorm. And we're excited to bring you an all new exclusive trailer from the game. Here, our unlikely hero, Abe, finds himself fresh off the back of freeing his people from the nefarious Rupture Farms. He thinks the journey is over, 
but soon discovers it has only just begun. The stakes are higher, the threats are larger, the obstacles are more devious, and it's all made possible by the power of PlayStation 5. Enjoy. <laughs> <coughs> Wait here. Hey, why'd you hold up? I could go for a sandwich right well, now. Well, you gotta get <laughs> out of here. Come on, let's get out of here. My tummy's growling. I, I'm hungry. Uh, <laughs> Come on, walk. <laughs> that, that looked cool. I'm probably not gonna pick up, but like, you know, I feel like I've played some games like that. Just like, oh hey, gotta bring the all these. It's like kind of like Danganronpa V3. There's like a mini game where you have to like, oh hey, bring all of the the characters to the end. They're here with me. Please come out. <coughs> Gregory, I may have lost my temper earlier, but it was just a glitch. It won't happen again. Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's on. PS5? Five Nights at Freddy's on PS5. Five Nights at Freddy's on PS5. Wow. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. <laughs> you know what? I'm not even mad. Congratulations to Scott Cawthon for making his success from all PC on into console. Like, no, props to him. No hate whatsoever. I've never even played the game, but I applaud him for his success. And then, um, Blue Abyss 6. Congratulations to Scott Cawthon for, you know, all his games and being featured on the PS5 showcase. <laughs> oh, is this, uh, Demon Souls? Blue point, yep, Demon Souls. Well, hello. <laughs> it looks good. That looks really good. You're defeating enemies with one blow. You gotta be pretty high, high level. <clears throat> but like the environment with all the shadow and lightning, that is just really good. It 
There's a door there. You sure went to the door? Oh boy. Sure save before I end. <laughs> well, this is just really good. Looks great. Rip. <laughs> I was about to say, you can do this in first person? Oh, don't get burned, don't get burned. Souls. I shall await thy return, Slayer of Demons. They're probably getting close with, you know, prop maybe a new game reveal and then the PS5 price and date. <clears throat> I heard like it's supposed to be about 45 minutes or so, I think. Oh, Fortnite. Eh. I hope this is the last game to show off. Because I heard like, uh... Ray chasing is supposed to be added sometime today or sometime soon. No, oh, okay. Introducing the PlayStation Plus collection. What do you mean the PlayStation Plus collection? Oh, hey, if you ever have PlayStation Plus, what are you going on about PlayStation? All the, I was about to say, all the PS Plus games that was on PS Plus you can play on PS4. Or, or did they're going with a, uh, uh, the, the Game Pass route. Oh, hey, you can play all your PS4 games on, you know, PS5 with PlayStation Plus. My name is Marcus. My name is Kara. My name is Connor. I was about to say, are they only doing first part? But like, no, I saw multiple third party games as well. Oh, uh, last guardian. <laughs> Yeah, so it's not only like first parts, it's a bunch of third party as well. And of course not Persona 5 Royal because that just recently came out. This year. <laughs> but 
but does this mean they're gonna start, you know, uh, raising the price? I hope not. Because, like, it was, what, $20 a year at first? Or at least 30 so somewhat below, some below 60. I, I don't remember. It's been years. I really hope they don't increase the price again. Okay, so they're, they're gonna be showing off the, the price and date. This is, this is just like the, the, the reveal you did a few months ago. Price. Now. $499, Ooh. Okay, November 12th. Now you know. Thank you all for joining us today. And for the 499, I mean the 399 for the digital one. I can kind of see it because it's literally just the same as PS5 regular version, just without the disk drive. And we look forward to you getting your hands on PS5 very soon. To close, let me leave you with one more quick look. Was this quick look? Show me what this quick look is. Valhalla? God of War. God of War. Time draws near. Yep, yep, God of War. God of War Ragnarok. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was an alright game. And just, it looks like a freaking snake. Like the head is there and just. Is it going to be called God of War 5? God of War 2? You must prepare yourself. Ragnarok 2022. Oh. Uh, <laughs> why did I say 2022? 2021? Ragnarok is coming. But you know what? That was not bad. Not bad. That was not bad at all. You know, uh, freaking the real of uh, Final Fantasy 16. That would make Cry 5 Special Edition, which I really hope there's going to be a special. The Special Edition is coming to PS4. Uh, the, the Hogwarts thing. Morales looks really good, and of course Villages too. But th there was a little bit of a, uh, um, a bit of well, what, what's the word? What's the word? Um, frame rate dip with the uh, with Village there. But I I really love what they I really like what they showed. I can't really say love because it's just like it's just. I don't know everything, so it's just, it's really cool, really, I really like what they showed. Hmm. Uh, not sure some of these games were shown before, like in the previous showcase. But, oh yeah, Five Nights, that's, all oh, the FNAF community's gonna have a good one. <laughs> but you know they they all said well most of the releases says you know holiday 2020 or 21 
they didn't really give us an exact release date for the games. So that is something. Yep. And I just have to be the music just in case, you know, if something happens when I upload this. But yeah, I really thought this was a good showcase. Uh, let me just see if I got any like press emails about like uh, <laughs> uh, what was shown. Uh, yep, definitely on Square Enix announces Final Fantasy 16 for a PlayStation 5. <laughs> oh man, so really awesome that that is coming uh, back. Uh, and it, and 16 looks like it's really taking, you know, uh, inspiration from, like, really past Final Fantasy games, you know, that are, like, really, uh, or, like, games that are really, like, medieval. It's not, you know, modern-ish or just, like, you know, alternate reality of, you know, fantasy, stuff like that. So, like, it's really cool. Really glad that's happening. Uh, I didn't get anything else, but should be, um, should be coming, uh, sometime soon. Um, but th those were really awesome. The pricing on PS5. 500 for, you know, the regular... 400 for the digital. Uh, I will remain waiting for either the PlayStation 5 Pro or some kind of new version of the PS5. So far, I, I can hold out on these games. I can I can wait, and I still have a bunch of games in my collection I still haven't been yet or even touched. <laughs> So, like, and releasing on, you know, November 12th, oh, a lot of games, so they're, they're probably just gonna announce it, hey, uh, they're just gonna say, hey, uh, you remember those games we said, uh, coming out holiday 2020? Yeah, it's coming out on November 12th. Uh, of course, Ragnarok, uh, God of War Ragnarok. Um, I'm trying to see, uh, who, who, who would usually, oh, uh, either Wario or, uh, or Cheap or Cag. Eh, so let's try Wario. She, she just have all the list of the announced games. Uh, hmm. Alright, uh, so, once we get there, okay, so, starting off, got Final Fantasy 16, we already talked about that, uh, come to PC as well, uh, Miles Morales, talked about that, uh, Hogwarts Light Legacy, that game was leaked for many years before it was actually announced. Glad we finally have that official announcement. Looks pretty cool. Black Ops Cold War. Not a fan of Call of Duty like at all, but if you are, that's good. Looks cool graphically, just not my thing. Uh oh. Also announced Mar Miles Morales is coming to PS4. Okay, good. I'm not spending five hundred to just give Miles Morales. That's good. Uh, Village, Deathloop, looks great. Maybe getting Deathloop is maybe a uh, special edition. Digitally, again, Capcom, watching, please, at least on PS4. It would kind of be a disservice, just like, oh, hey, here's a special edition. Got fork out $500 plus whatever much the special edition costs to get it. Please. Uh, Audible Soulstorm. Cool. Final Fantasy Freddy's Secure Beach. Already talked about that. Demon Souls. Looks great. Not my thing. I'm not really a big fan of the Souls games. I played uh, Bloodborne like last year or so. 
<laughs> it's not my thing. Uh, Fortnite, sorry there. Uh, PlayStation Plus Collection. So basically, having a bunch of PS4 titles available at launch for PS5. Yeah, and it's really weird that uh, since the PS5 is coming out on November 12th, and it's only available for the 12th for US, Japan, Canada, Mexico, Australia, New Zealand, and South Korea. And then the rest of the world on November 19th. Why are they doing that? Okay. And yeah, uh, kind of wish, you know, they kind of, you know, made the price a little bit cheaper. But like I said before, the digital is literally just without the disk drive. It's not smaller like the Series S. So, and I don't think like it has any like less power to it. So, yeah, just about $100 cheaper. <clears throat> and Rock Dog. So, yeah, I enjoyed this stream. Uh, tell me what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below really like to hear your thoughts comments and opinions on this and like always like thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like subscribe favorite ship all your friends check the links in the description below for my social media links and if they're just in case uh, if there are any games that i find on amazon with uh uh i, I can put an amazon failure link in the description as well if you guys want to pre-order there and yeah i will see you guys with the next video Power out. Yeah.